Folkestone Warren is in Kent, it's between Folkestone and Dover and it's an active landslide that we run a, an active railway, a live railway through between Folkestone and Dover. It's one of our main service routes up to London. The railway is the safest it's ever been, I think, at this particular location, but we can never be complacent. We need to make sure that our inspections and monitoring is fit for purpose, regularly undertaken, and then we take action when we see these small movements which could lead to something bigger. The railway was opened in 1844 and there had been landslides following that opening. In 1915 was the second major landslide, sometimes known as the Great Fall. In truth, there were three separate landslides in 1915. Uh, one of them was the rotational landslip of the Galt Clay, uh, which actually forced the line closure and, and a train to be derailed. The line was closed for about three years. Uh, the Great Fall happened as well, which was where a significant amount of chalk came down just close to Abbot's Cliff Tunnel. Uh, and you can still see signs of that Great Fall today. There's a significant amount of chalk that extends out into the sea. We have a permeable layer, being chalk in this particular instance, sitting or lying on top of an impermeable layer, and that is the Galt Clay at Folkestone. What happens is the rain falls down, uh, falls on the land, soaks its way through that permeable chalk layer, and when it comes to the impermeable gulk clay layer, it can't get any further. It saturates the gulk clay layer, and that causes the movement of the chalk uh, because it loses its strength. So this was part of the 1915 failure that closed the line for three years. You can quite clearly see the layers are inclined, and that's because the clay has moved rotationally in a circular form, and you can quite clearly see the movement behind me. In 1915, the line was actually shunted 50 metres towards the sea, and you can actually see that kink in the track to this very day. In terms of the amount of time that the line was closed, it's probably the, the, the worst event that we've had. We typically get quite small movements approximately 100 to 200 millimetres. We have minute by minute monitoring, not only of movement, but also of weather as well. So we have a weather station down at uh, Folkestone Warren, um, at the Warren Halt, and that sends us back live information of wind speed, rainfall, temperature. And we can use that to try and correlate, for instance, rainfall and movement. And we know there's a good correlation between rainfall and movement. And going forward, we'll look at that information in terms of climate change. As it gets rainier, we expect to see more movement and we can compare those and then decide what to do. We want to react really quickly as well to, to minor movements to make sure they don't progress into something more significant. We carry out monitoring 24-7 and we do a number of walkover surveys at regular intervals, so we're very happy with the condition of the Warren at the moment. <laughs>